Today on BRS TV, we have the Iwaki and Pan World external aquarium pumps. If you're in the market for a low to medium flow pump, I believe these to be the best available options. If you're in the market for a really high flow pump, you may want to look at one of the options from Reflow. Iwaki has been around for a very long time, and they're a leader in the pump industry across a wide range of applications. They're quiet, reliable, and they consume less energy than most of the other pump options out there. They come with two different types of motors. Uh, this is going to be the American style motor, and they have a Japanese motor. If you just started shopping for an Iwaki pump, you might have noticed the two different motor styles on the internet and assume that there isn't a whole lot of difference between the American and Japanese version and you might as well get whichever one is least expensive. While they do function similarly, there are a few substantial differences worth noting. The Japanese model is a custom pump designed for aquatic applications made out of cast aluminum. The custom design and ongoing refinements result in a cooler running, power efficient, lower noise pump. The American version was designed to provide a slightly more affordable option and uses the same pump mechanism on the front but is driven with a steel road HVAC motor and it uses an adapter plate in the center to attach the pump mechanism so it will also be a bit longer. While this might change in the future, one of the other differences is the American version has the standard American plug where the Japanese version comes with an unfinished end on the cord. This means you'll have to add a plug to the end. It takes about 30 seconds and costs five bucks or less. If you're unsure how to do that, anybody at any hardware store can show you how in 30 seconds as well. Next up are the Pan World pumps. You may notice that they're very similar to the Japanese Iwaki pump, and there's a pretty good reason for that. One of the lead engineers at Iwaki left the company to create the Pan World brand, which are made in Taiwan. The result of this is a pretty similar pump, which is sold at a very attractive price point. Because of the similar look and feel, you might assume that they're going to be the exact same pump. However, there are some differences. The Pan World pump is going to come at a much lower price. However, it does run a little louder, seems to consume more power, and components like the head aren't nearly as robust as they are on the Iwaki pump. And because Pan World doesn't have the same size presence in the United States, obtaining replacement parts and warranty service can be substantially more difficult. Generally speaking, we try to maintain three levels of products in every category, good, better, and best. I think the Pan World pump falls very solidly into the good category. They've proven to be extremely reliable. It's based on a sound design, and they come at a very attractive price point. I don't think there's any other external pump brand out there in this price range that comes even close. That said, the American motor version of the Iwaki seems to run quieter, consume less power, and because they have such a large presence in the United States, it's much easier to contact them for warranty support or replacement parts. They have a website with a variety of ways to contact them, one of which is a phone number which is answered promptly. This to me puts it in the better category. I believe the Japanese motor Iwaki to be the best available option, partially because the refined custom made motor is very power efficient, which may make it the least expensive option in the end as well. But on top of that, it also runs cooler and the decibel rating seems to be similar to the American made pump, but to my ear it is a smoother, less noticeable sound, which matches that of some of the other equipment in the tank. So it's really easy to read a manufacturer's description of itself and say that it consumes less power or runs quieter. I wanted to take this a step further and actually measure some of these things in a quick demo. All of the pumps in this demo are the 1200 gallon per hour versions. First up was the Pan World. I got an operating decibel rating of around 90 and power consumption of around 147 watts. The American made Iwaki was about 10 decibels lower at 80 and only used 134 watts. The Japanese Iwaki also came in at 80 decibels, however the sound it makes is a more subtle whir which makes it seem quieter. The biggest difference is that it only consumed 105 watts, which is a pretty sizable drop in power consumption, which probably means it's going to add less heat to the tank as well as be the most affordable option over the long run. I think the easiest way to demonstrate how quiet each pump is, is to add them in one at a time. 
You'll notice because the American, Iwaki, and Pan world make different types of sounds, you can hear them both, but the Japanese motor Iwaki cannot be heard above either of the other pumps. This effect can also be demonstrated in reverse as we turn the pumps off. So people often ask what I or other BRS team members would use, and I can honestly say that as long as it fits in my immediate budget, I'm going to go with the Japanese Motor Iwaki every time.